Day one for me in Colorado. Finally met up with the boys. Man, it feels good to be here. We had some mishaps um, with a breakdown yesterday, but $2,200 later, we made it. A little spendy. We're just talking about uh, packing up our stuff here. We got... They look like those. It's a tote kind of out. That was our makeshift uh, camp for the night. Actually, it was super comfortable. I slept like a baby. Just kind of getting retooled for another three and a half days. We're gonna put camp on our back. Just do day by day, hunt with, hunt with camp on our back the whole time and sleep where we sleep. There's nine of us here, guys. So we got three tag holders and nine guys. We're gonna split up in three groups of three and try to uh, surround and drown. That's the plan. I think I'm hooking up with uh, Cody and. It's haunted. It's haunted. No pressure, Phelps, but. Wow. Wow. We're doing a little luck changer. It's been kind of a. I mean, we've, we've been an elk, no problem, but we just need to shake things up a little bit, so we're bringing back the Mohawk. Barber here. It's dressed appropriately. It's weird. Yeah, number one. The last time I did the mohawk, it, it, it really pulled, paid off. So, fingers crossed, it works. Wow. You definitely got the cheapest clippers. Cody, you got some gray hairs going oh, on. Oh man. You have to skip for a little bit, I can't get that. Well, this is gonna take forever, so I will show you the finished product. But what we got going on over on the other side of camp this morning, we had breakfast. Um, we're splitting up into three teams. Three teams of three. Let's go through the teams, Steve. Uh, team Wolfpack over here, me, Mr. Schmitty, and old Mr. Lusk. Okay. And then we've got Cody and Trevor and Mr. Phelps. And then <clears throat> to end it off with, we might not even make it out of camp today because we're going to probably shoot one from the uh, from the trail. Is Dirt? He's uh, that's my partner. That's that's my partner right there. Me, Dirk, and uh, Wesley Snipes. How do you feel about it? I feel pretty good about it. Feel, feel, I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to have some serious fun and some laughs. What do you think? Like, make it to the edge of the meadow before we shoot one? Yeah, I, I might wait. I might wait. I want to make an adventure out of this. I might wait. Hold out. Maybe hold out. 100 yards beyond that. Not a bad idea. Yeah. Yep, yep. So these are the teams. We're going to go out. Do we have a team name? Um, I don't know. We Not yet. We haven't, we'll think of something. We'll think of something. We'll good. think of something yeah. really good. Yeah. So team brother from another mother. Something, brother from another mother. Something like that. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. It's, yeah. Maybe. We'll, we'll figure something out. I guarantee it. So yeah. we'll take care of what you got going do on. Paperwork here. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, even out of the office, you're still working. That's right. We're gonna have some fun. Okay, if Jason Phelps out. puts his shirts on, we'll have a lot more fun. Oh. Goodness gracious. Back to the uh, Mohawk update here. It'd be better if I had a little bit more cord on this thing. Here, let me step forward. Those look like expensive trimmers too. They're very, very expensive clippers. How do you feel, Cody? Except you need to fix that. Uh, apparently it looks really good. I feel amazing. Now I'm just trying to wipe all this. Um, I want you to comment below if he needs to shave both sides here oh, so it just comes straight up over yeah. the top. Like oh. Mr. T. No, don't. No. Oh, to, you're ruining it. Look semi appropriate. Got a little right here too. Presentable. Yes, After here. you really start looking at it, there's a little everywhere. <laughs> it's there. It's good. What do you got going on there? Uh, it's a little bit of a skullet. Nice. Which is, well, you know, party in the back. Party in the back. Party you know. Back. I've had this for a long time though. Yeah, it looks like no it. copycat. I've been rocking this. Ask Cody for a couple no, years. Not yet. Yeah. Coat, not down. Feel good about it, Cud? I think I feel amazing about it. Perfect. I take a breath, I'm not gonna lose This is what I came here to do I walk that wire and I take that step Won't look down, got no regrets I was made for this I was made for this Born in the wild, for the 
Dear Lord, thank you so much again for all the blessings that you've given us and the success that we've had and the lessons that we've learned and the people that we've got to meet. Um, we're headed out for another adventure. Please keep us safe. Please help our families at home to know we're safe and, and um, just protect us and help us to have fun. If it be your will, help us to get another elk. We love you and thank you for this great creation you gave us. Amen. 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 Guys, Guys. He's trying to steal my deadhead. Ready to kill? I'm, I'm ready to kill. We're gonna kill some stuff. Oh yeah. Grouse. Yeah. Something elk. We got seven arrows this time. Yeah, I got seven arrows of carbon warfare ready to happen. Well, we're back on the hunt. It is Thursday, 11.30. We uh, had a nice, what'd you say, powwow? Yeah, group get together. Group get together. Treber, roll in. Clean up crew. Clean up crew. Coming in to finish them. Well, back in the seventh and eighth grade, I did um, hit fourth man on the baseball team. <laughs> so, you guys are in good hands. All right, thanks. That's good news. So we are headed back in. We've got stuff for three nights, four days, coming out Sunday. So probably kill a bull before then. Actually, like not probably. We we will be will be killing, right? We will be. We got uh, three teams of three. We got Trent, Dirk, and uh, Wesley. We got Nick, Steve, and Jeff. So we're dividing and conquering. And uh, we're going to go have some fun. Oh, shit! Oh, yeah. <sighs> Camera was on, so that was cool. Man down. Man. <laughs> Apparently that stop light right there. Did you bit, bit, bit me? Yeah. <laughs> you alright, buddy? Yeah, no, I'm good. You're at just the right speed to where you can just go up and over these windfalls. Just blow them. Yeah. This is Trevor on day one just getting into the blowdowns. He thinks it's funny. <laughs> just wait. Every breath holds a moment. Everyone a chance to take. Whole motto, Derek. We go slow, but we go steady. Okay. Okay. Slow and steady. Wins the race every, every time. time. We're every not going to be the the jackrabbit of the mountain. We're going to be the yeah. turtle. Guys, at the end of the day, guess who's got the horns on their back? This turtle this guy. Yeah. Turtle. Yeah. Because yeah. they can carry more too. Yeah, they can. 150 times their weight. Yeah. I've heard. Yeah. They're like an ant. It's true. It's the ant of the turtle family. Right. Exactly. Rabbits can't carry nothing. No. No. They break a leg. Yeah. They, they can't carry disease. Yeah. They do carry disease. They will, they will do Them that. Them and Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go shoot some elk. I'm sorry. Let the games begin. Hunger Games. The Hunger Games. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. Yeah, we don't eat till we kill. Pretty brutal movie. Yeah. Yeah. Bunch of kids killing each other. Isn't that how it goes? You do the little whistle? Oh, yeah. Wow. wow. Nice maneuver. Yeah. So the one song and one song only. So... <clears throat> I have the privilege of following Trent and Dirk around and people told me that they have a little bit of a strange connection and I thought okay I didn't realize how strange they are together until I was here and saw them interacting it's like they're long lost brothers and they're reunited and they are the exact same so I'm sure there's going to be something funny caught on camera. Probably some bulls called in too, but for sure, hilarious time. It works 80% of the time, every time. Will you let me win this time? <laughs> but if you win, then I can't win. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's, yeah that's, I know, that's, that's just stupid. That's, that's, that was dumb of me. I, I, should never, I didn't even think of it that way. <laughs> Don't think about it again. 
Just don't bring it back up, lock it down. <laughs> We've been waiting to hunt together for the whole week. Cody took him on a death march somewhere across the world. How'd that go? It went, it went really good. I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. <laughs> Oh, my lady. shins may tell a different story. Your, your, yeah, your shins and your ear, the blood on your ear yeah. tells a different story. No, but finally we get to hunt together. I'm jacked about it. Dirks, we're going to do the slingshot technique where Dirk starts them out and I just bring them the rest of the way. Not a problem. That sounds good to me. All right. Let's do it. First bugle of the day. I use your two. Barely daylight. Just got daylight. <laughs> Nothing here. <laughs> go back to camp. Let's go back to camp. We're done. Okay. Make the sounds of an elk. Would you? I'll try my best. The last one you did okay. Not bad for your first try. I've been working on it for about a week. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> Were, they, were the bulls that you guys were getting on, were they answering more to the chuckle or the bugle? Bugle, I think. It seemed like ours were like a chuckle. Well, sometimes um, you do a couple regular bugles, and then if you hammer them with like a lip ball and a big old mean chuckle, they would pipe up then. Really? So maybe I'll try that. Maybe I'll just go right for third base. Don't even play shortstop. No. Get right in there. No. Wait, wait, wait. Is, this, is this that is this that talk right before that talk where you tell me that you're having you're having some feelings for somebody? I, it kind of is. It's, it's that way. I, I, I must admit, I've never done this before, but uh, I I really want to do this with you. Oh, good. Uh, for my first time. I think we should first time. Okay. We, we should explore this. Maybe I could paint your face and you could paint, and you could paint mine. I, 
I, it was going somewhere there. Yeah, yeah. I'm not afraid. <laughs> I've never had face paint on before. What? Yeah. You haven't? Never. This will be the first time. It's I've been be... saving it up just for you. You ready for this? I am ready for this. It won't even be painful, I know. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a little nervous. I'm kind of giddy. Kind of nervous. I feel like a 16-year-old girl at prom night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that nervous. Okay. <laughs> I've got paint right here. Okay, we can't tell each other what we're painting. We just have to go for it. We just have to go for it? We just have to go for it. And then, so you can't tell me how to paint yours and you can't, and I can't tell you how to paint mine. We just have to. Just trust. Just trust tree. Yeah, trust tree. This is my canvas. Yes, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's kind of a it rough It feels canvas. weird. <laughs> it feels weird. Why should something so wrong feel so right? I don't know. I don't know if, if painting each other's faces is wrong. I don't want to be right. <laughs> Look, it may be like wearing another man's underwear. It's kind of constricting at first, but it, then it becomes part of you. It becomes a part of you. <laughs> I, I would totally agree. Okay. We're doing this? We're doing this. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's, who goes first? I, I mean, I feel like we should do this in private. <laughs> Can we turn the camera off? <laughs> Might get a little weird. This got real weird. <laughs> this is the spot where we do the deed. Let's let's do it. Let's take our packs off. It, things might get a little crazy. Okay. Out of hand. Let's do it. Okay. You know. No. no I've, had, I've had a few viewers ask me, why don't you paint your face? Yeah. What do you usually you should, tell? You should, you, you should paint your face. I said I've been saving myself for the right <laughs> person to paint it for me. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Why should something so wrong feel so right? <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do this. Why are we so nervous? <laughs> Who goes first? <laughs> okay, I'm right. trembling. I'm, I, I, I'm shaking. Where's the paint at? Oh, here you go. Okay. You need to go first? I'll go first. Okay. Alright, All right, ready? Yeah. Wait, you're not gonna make me look like the Grinch, are you? No. You're gonna look oh, really Maybe cool. you should put make me look like a medieval warrior. You, you got that look on already. Okay, how about like an elk skull? Can you write? I'm not Picasso. I I, <laughs> <laughs> one canvas at a time, you know what I mean? <laughs> it is kind of rough. It's not bad, it's not bad. Don't move. Oh yeah. I better not get pimples from this. You won't, this is pimple free makeup. Yeah, see, it's all about those bold lines. Amazing cheekbones, amazing cheekbones. <laughs> Thank you. I was almost a runway model once. Did you? I thought you spent some time. Yeah. They said, until I put, tried to put on the outfit, they said, you're too fat. What? <laughs> yeah. That's crap. No, yeah. Fat shaming. Okay. It's a thing. It's a real thing. Covering the Santa Claus here. Ooh. This, this got weird. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Hang on. Hang on. Let me put my read away. I really need to pay attention to that. I forgot to start with, do you trust me? <laughs> Be gentle. Be gentle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is. See that? That's what I'm talking about. How come you keep looking deep in my eyes when you're doing I this? I don't know. <laughs> I can't stop staring. I mean, it's not like I don't like it. I can't stop staring. <laughs> Coming down the inside. It's oh, kind of yeah. like a car wreck. You just can't look away. <laughs> <laughs> just about. Yeah. Same, same thing. Same thing, really. Uh, all right. I feel like I'm gonna look like the swamp thing when I'm No, when it actually looks pretty darn good. This ain't my first rodeo. I'm just worried about you. You've never done this before. Am I gonna look like the guy off Predator? You will be the guy off Predator. Will I be the Predator or I, will I be Arnold? I've never watched it. Okay. Is it a good one? Oh yeah. It sounds scary. Yeah. Why don't could Arnold my liners? It looks pretty darn good. Does it not? Comment below. Scale of one to ten. Who wore it best? <laughs> <laughs> just pampered, really. This feels like home to me. And one dabble here. Put a bow on it, it's done. Okay. Let's get okay. a little up here. Alright. You wanna look at it or you wanna uh, no, I wanna I wanna paint yours and then we'll we'll both do the reveal at the same time. The reveal, the ultimate reveal. Yeah, it's right. almost like the swan. Remember that TV show, The Swan? I never watched yeah, it. Yeah, they took a really ugly person. Oh yeah. Did a complete makeover. Everything from the ground up. Did a complete rebuild. Beautiful. Yeah, it was amazing. I should watch it. You should. Okay, I'm gonna start with a little bit of black ash. Ash. Um, do you have Man. any burnt sienna? <laughs> no burnt sienna. We have rosewood though. <laughs> rosewood. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> bring it. Bring it. Okay. I'm trembling. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time. My, my hands have never done this before. You're shaking. I've never been this far before. <laughs> Trust me. Look deep into my eyes. Do you want me to take off my binocular case? All right. All right. Not. Bring it. Trust me. <laughs> trust. We're in the trust tree with the nest. We are. How's your canvas? It's rugged. Rugged. Yeah, I think that's a nice word for ruggedly rough. handsome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're yeah. ruggedly. Wait, I kind of feel weird saying that. Being yeah, so close. being so close. Give me some eyeliner. Always need to um, accentuate the features. Okay. I just. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the rich mahogany. Yeah, please do. Please do. <laughs> They say love like this comes once in a lifetime. Don't second guess it. For the first time I believe it to be true. Oh man, this is gonna turn All of is my it? friends say I, this, is, this is almost like the tree of life. Really? Just, just trust me with this. Every piece falls in I've honestly never done paint like this. <laughs> <laughs> so much trust. I feel like I've almost done this before. Yeah, have you practiced? <laughs> have you been at home the whole time? Practicing? <laughs> I don't know. Have you seen that movie, The Grinch? Yeah. Really? Is this next level? Yeah. Wes, next level? It is a level. <laughs> it, looks, it looks good. Does it? I, I have to admit. Are you done? I am. Oh. That didn't take long. Mm. All right, well. Who, who wore it best? <laughs> Are you ready? I think so. I'm so nervous. Let's see it. Let's see it. <laughs> I can't. I just can't do it. I can't. I can't. Okay, here we go. Huh? Oh, wow. Huh? Wow, I look like I don't know what. A hunter? Yeah, a What hunter, we're yeah. going for. I look like... <laughs> <laughs> I look like... We're painted up. Who wore it best, guys? Take Comment your pick. Below. Comment below. Who's the best artist and who's the best looking? <laughs> I think we went with two different... <laughs> two different <laughs> styles there. <laughs> Mine's more of an abstract. <laughs> well, you did call me Picasso. Yeah, nice work. Nice work. <laughs>
to you? Good. Yeah, I felt good. Did you hit him? Oh, yeah. Good shot? High and low and left, right looked great. Just didn't look like there was a bunch of penetration. I don't know if I hit a part of his shoulder blade or what. Is he big? I think five by six. six. I think five by six. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Not much penetration? I don't think so. Perfect. Look good though. Yeah, high and low was perfect. Was he broadside? Yeah. Quartered a little bit. As soon as I shot, he whirled a little bit and it looked like it just went right in, but I don't think it did. How far was he? 30 yards, maybe. Yeah. He's right down there. He's standing there. Or he was. He was climbing up and I stopped him to shoot through that brush, that little hole in the brush. But um, because the wind was just blowing like right there, he didn't want to have him bust before he got to there. He's licking his lips just coming. He was coming. He's doing his thing. He wanted to buy it. Did he? He wanted to buy it. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Hey. You're awesome. Okay. You're that was so good. much fun. That was so much fun. Thank you. Well, <laughs> thank you so much. This has been a great day. <laughs> oh, the paint. Love you, man. Love you, man. It was the eight, 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 Where did he go? He went straight down and down into that the next draw. Last time I saw him, he's going to this Should draw. we just leave him for a couple yeah, hours? Yeah, we'll him for a while, yeah. Let's just sit down. Let's review it and see what we got. Okay. So what we're doing, guys, we just backed out, just shot that bull, and we're going to just give it an hour and a half, probably. Yes. I mean, there's no rush in it. There, we, there's no reason in it. He said it didn't get much penetration, so worst case scenario is it just hit the shoulder blade and... But which is the best case for you, because it, it won't kill him. But, um, <clears throat> right, it might went in, and then as he turned, it might have pulled about out. I don't know. It's He was quartering a little bit to me. but So you hugged it pretty tight? No, not super tight. Maybe so, he had his leg back or something. Yeah, I don't know. I we looked at the footage, and it's really tough to tell. You can't. It, it's really tough on that tiny little screen. So we're just going to give him some time. We're going to give him food. Yeah, eat, some eat something. Um, go and go check out, see what see what we can find. That's all we can do. Yeah. So I I think we did we turned the tide with this paint. I knew it would happen. I mean I'm just thinking positive thoughts right now. Positive thoughts. Yeah, I was kitty calling for a couple times with my whiskers. Yeah. Yeah, cat calls. <laughs> all right. I'm just I'm just a barrel of nerves right now. You know, you just unknowing if I know. You just wanna know. You know, I waited for the you know he's coming, he was kinda quarter and hard coming up through there. Almost frontal, and I was waiting for a, a nice broadside or almost broadside shot. And it was pretty close. It's it it a little bit quartering. Um, not bad. But not bad, yeah. So, I don't know. We'll see. We will definitely see. I promise you. So, guys, what we were just talking about actually is what well, you guys saw it. We were goofing off at camp, <laughs> shaving each other's heads, and, <laughs> and we don't leave till what, noon? Or no, 10 30 to 11? It was. It was 12 probably when we left. Was it? Yeah. And we just started climbing the hill. We didn't do any strategic, got to be at this elevation or whatever. We just walked right out of camp, right back behind, and started doing the thing, doing the old cat road shuffle, doing the playbook. Call, walk, call, walk. It was only about four. I mean, camp is what? Less than a half mile. It's less than a half mile. It's got to be. Right. It's, it's got to be. be. Yeah. So just, I mean, you don't have to be deep back in the wilderness. 200 miles, you know, getting, you know, you don't, elk move all the time. And it turns out they're right here, right by camp, so. And they may not have been here yesterday. Who knows? I think they, those elk are on a big circuit in this area. So they're here today, gone tomorrow. Yeah. But you just gotta kinda stick with your plan and keep keep hunting them. And and, and I think a lot of people just gotta bust through this country. They gotta get away, gotta yeah. get away from the, I think the so. road. And they, they kinda push through this overlooked stuff. Yeah. But. I mean, I guess that's a tip, I guess. It's just, once you leave the road, you're hunting. Don't don't think that you have to get somewhere to go hunting. Hunt the whole way through. And elk are just where you find them. They are. Write that down. I did. Write that down. I've already got it trademarked, actually. Trademark. Sorry. TM. You might have to pay me 10 bucks to use it. 10? That's a $10 phrase. That's not that. Yeah. For you. 10 friend. <laughs> For you. Well, your friends. Yeah. We're going to change things up. We're going to do the slow play. Slow play? I'll kiss you all over. No, not that. All over and again. No. Till the night closes. No. Till the night closes. 
Trevor's here to hunt and also sing karaoke, apparently. I'll be here all week. So, we're, uh, we're actually gonna get up on a ridge top. Kinda hang out, just listen. That way we can make a move one, one way or the other. See if we can get on them. You know what, breakfast. <sighs> See what I have to deal with all the time? It's like babysitting my sister's kids. Oh. Did you lose well, some stuff on the ride? Yeah, so we, uh, that trail was a bit bumpier than expected. And we lost a beagle tube, we lost a decoy, we lost Steve's butt wipes. Found those. Found those, so that's good. But uh, I'm gonna rip back and uh, find those, hopefully. We're gonna head up in here three nights, four days, I do believe. Um, hopefully it doesn't take that long. We got we got high hopes that it's we're gonna walk up here and smash a bowl. So um, there's a couple, there's a side by side and another quad at the trailhead, but hopefully we're better callers or better hunters or we get you we're luckier. I don't know. So yeah. Take what, it. Do you, what do you think, Stevie? What's that? What do you think? Um, I'm thinking we're gonna go up here and find us a bowl to shoot. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Team go buy back. burgers for everybody else. Yep. Oh yeah. <laughs> burgers with eggs. Uh huh. Well, it looks like I already... Yeah, we'll find him. Just had this thing bent over. Water. I'm thirsty. I don't know if we're gonna find water. Found some water. I think we're all about to be dehydrated. <laughs> I almost didn't think we were gonna find water in this basin, but uh, we did. Stocked up four new liters, and I think we're gonna head out that way, try and get a bull to talk to us, which has been a task in itself lately. So, but we're gonna stay positive. It only takes one. We can walk over to this next log and a bull could hammer at us. So. Kind of how it goes when they're not screaming all the time. But yeah, that is the plan as of now. It's been two hours. We let the we let it set for two hours before we start trailing blood. Um, the shot looked kind of good, but the arrow didn't seem to penetrate unless it just pulled back out or something when he ran. So we wanted to give him as much time to die peacefully. That way he doesn't run off and make for a long track job. So hopefully it'll be a really short one. Side of that tree. Yeah. Stop. That's 20, 25 yards. We got blood right there. Blood? Blood right there on that log. So maybe we're not. Maybe I'm off. Not a 
high penetration. It just means he wants to be alone. Yeah, I don't know. Or if he wants to come down here and die. The penetration was not good. No, the penetration wasn't good and the blood wasn't like frothy like lung blood. It was like meat blood. We'll, we'll keep searching around here and see what we yeah. can turn up. Do some grid search. After a while we're gonna have to just start just taking trails and hoping hoping we see him if he's laying there. It's a brushy mess down in here. Yeah. For sure. I just don't know if he's dead. It's, it hasn't been frothy blood. No. It hasn't been. It hasn't showed the signs. Dark blood. It hasn't showed the signs of like him dying. A, a lot of the blood that I've seen was really low to the ground. Yeah. Like, like it's, it's just trickling. Like it's just trickling down right his, off his, down his leg. leg. Yeah. 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 So I think it, if I had to guess, I would say shoulder blade. Just by the looks of the arrow, too. I mean, it just got a little tiny bit of penetration. Maybe to there. Maybe. Maybe. And there was only what? Because look on the back. That's just where it ran that down. That much penetration. That's not much. That's just kind of where it ran down. Yeah. It's pretty clean so right it's clean here. right there, so that, I think you only got that, that much. That thing didn't go in very far. No. I think it was just like Tyler's last year. Just yeah. shoulder blade. We're going to keep looking and make sure. Yeah. We're just going to grit this. Just 
start searching, see if we can't turn anything up, but it's not looking great right now. Yeah. Talking about it. Hmm. It's a tough thing as a bow owner, you know, it's, you do your best, you practice, you, there's still just things that happen. I don't know. It's tough. That. It's tough. whipped today. It's been a lot of hiking, a lot of bugling, and uh, we haven't heard a thing, haven't seen a thing. We saw a hunter. Really cool guy, actually. But uh, that's it. That's all. All this talk, how he's gonna just get one just ripping and roaring. Looks like I just drove 22 hours for nothing. I'm a pretty optimistic guy, but this, this today has been pretty frustrating, but we're gonna get one to be right around this corner. Yeah, I mean, we have two hours of daylight left. We're in the right spot. It's just a matter of getting them to just fire off and then we'll close the distance. The wind's like really calm, so. We can hear forever, that's what's even more discouraging. <laughs> Usually we blame it on the wind, like, oh, they just can't hear us. I think they can hear us. Someone's boot track. Awesome. Public land hunting at its finest. their woods finally oh, we've climbed mount everest and then kilimanjaro all in one day <laughs> an oak. You sound like a good one just right over right, 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 right to our left some wind doing yeah, probably yeah, everything down i think we're actually have decent wind for him yeah we're perfect we an hour and a half hour hour yeah. the whole time. He bailed. I couldn't, it was just an elk, I couldn't see. He was like 80 yards. Yeah. Well, that bull must have saw us. This stuff's so thick that I saw him coming down at like 80 yards and you have to move or you're not going to get a shot. So, we tried cutting him off and he must have seen us. I I don't think it's 
seen quite a few shoulder blades. Yeah. I think it's classic shoulder blade. That's, That's what it looks like. like. Yeah, penetrated to where? Broke off right there. And we think that it stopped about right there, which is about what, four and a half inches? Yeah. You got about that much hide and meat on the outside layer of that shoulder when you hit the bone. Yeah. I think, I think it's a classic sign of a shoulder blade head, unfortunately. I don't feel good about it at all. I don't like giving an animal a, a wound that, you know, is going to yeah. walk around and bother them. I know they sustain a lot more from a, another yeah. fight with another elk, but still, I don't, I don't yeah. like that feeling. But, I mean, he won't die from that, sure. No, no, absolutely. It's, it's not going to kill him, but it just... It's the fact, right? It's the fact, yeah. I did it last year, guys. That's when I shot that bull in the shoulder last year. It sucks. It's no fun, but yeah, it is part of hunting. You have to be, you have to take the 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 risk, you know, that there is a chance it could happen. It sucks. Well, we're gonna verify. We're going to verify every means to make sure that this is a non-lethal hit. We're going to keep looking for blood and make sure and do some grid searching here to make sure that it's a non-lethal hit. But I think, I think it's a shoulder blade. It's a pretty telltale shoulder blade hit. So. Yeah. Yep. Well, after a few hours of searching here and uh, we've lost the blood trail um, analyzing the arrow it doesn't look like very good penetration at all no and uh, we've kind of decided it's, it was a shoulder blade hit which is non-lethal um, doesn't take away from the disappointment and the feeling of you know you know come out here to shoot stuff and let it run away and suffer we want good clean humane kills yeah. but from from the evidence you know it's darker colored blood no uh, bubbles no bubbles and you know, it just dried up mm -hmm. and with the arrow not going in very far I can confidently that yeah I can confidently say that elk's not gonna die um, have a lot of mixed emotions, you know. You, you felt hap I felt happy shooting the elk. Um, then I have all these this really low feeling. That, um, I didn't I didn't get him, and he's out there running around, you know, with a, a hole in his shoulder. But I think he'll heal up just fine. And probably in a week from now, he'll be chasing cow or less. He might. How about less? In, in a day or two, he'll probably that be bull chasing I, bulls. I shoulder bladed the bull last year, and it was bugling after. I shoulder bladed it. Yeah. So I mean, it's yeah. it's one of those things though that everybody takes it differently. I get, and it's one of those personal things that I'm sure you know you guys will comment. I'm sure, but it's just everybody. Some people would notch their tag. Some people um, just can say, "Hey, I got my chance," and that's it. Me personally, we've elk hunted for a long, long time. We've like Dirk said, we've looked at all the evidence and everything, and the bull's not going to die. You did not kill an animal yeah. yeah wounding it sucks that sucks I mean it, it does yeah you hurt him but he won't die so I feel like you know if I'd have shot him in the guts or something yeah. and he was gonna run off and die I would probably just notch my tag and you know you, you get one shot at it yeah. but I think since he's gonna live and live to fight another day then um, we're gonna continue hunting and try to shake it off and Get and, back uh, on the horse. Salvage this trip. So get back on the get horse. Back on, so. We're not quitters. Nope. We're definitely not quitters. I promise you that. Uh, well, we're gonna get our things together here, and um, let's go find one. Okay. Let's, let's do, do it. it. Let's do it.
big one was on there. Let that drop again. And Cody could hear him breaking sticks. It sounded like he was coming, now all of a sudden we can't get a response. We're gonna run up there about 100 yards and then try to beagle real quick. I heard him walk off. He's, just, he's not scared. I think when we get close, he's just pushing away. Go that way about 100 yards. Not that, not too far. <laughs>
I hate it and love it all at the same time. How do you feel about your camping spot? Um, I think it's gonna work. It's been a while since I've set this tent up. Three years to be exact. Serious? Yeah, I haven't backcountry hunted in three years. Whoa. So, I'm a little slow, I'm a little tired, to be honest with you. We hiked, we hiked up that mountain pretty fast. We did. But bugle and bulls tend to do that to a guy. There's one torching off down below us right now. Today was awesome. It was just a really fun day with all the guys and then to get on that oh, thing right yeah. at the end. It was really, really fun. He sounds fluty too. Yeah. Mm. Sounds a lot like Dirk, you know. Some that Dirk, he's real fluty fluty bugler. So My ear's still ringing from you bugling in the side of my face. Yeah, it's, I was trying to really really get him fired up. But he he got fired up and left. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't want to play, which is it's kind of the MO of these bulls here in Colorado. What was amazing was the winds didn't foul us. Yeah, we had good wind. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And uh you know, sometimes every single day these videos coming out, it can be a little bit of a grind. We really, really, really appreciate all of your support, all of your comments. Um, because on the back end of this after we're doing the filming part of it, the editing part of it, uh, is just a lot like this too, from morning until night, um, often later than this. So, uh, it's your guys' interaction and, uh, your positive comments that keep us going on, on the editing side of it. And, uh, just thank you so much for watching and following along with us on the Land of the Free 2.0. It's been amazing with these guys and, um, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get some food, get recharged, and then I'm gonna call in. Okay, here's the thing, guys. Jason said no one in how many bulls, 11, 12 bulls he's killed. He's like, no one's ever called a bull in for me. I've called in every bull myself. So I consider it a challenge. I'm gonna call one in and he's gonna smoke it. So let's do it tomorrow, guys. I'm excited. Thanks. Yeah. Start looking cool, would you? <laughs> oh, guys, today was awesome. Trevor bought me this, actually. See that? Leopard skin. It's a real pillow, actually. Did somebody I'm... kill a leopard? Yeah, did you kill a leopard? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was awesome hunting today with one of my best friends. We got to get back together again. <sighs> oh, yeah, it was, I love you, too. It was so much fun. Every single time we get to hunt together, it's just a blessing it's a and blast. pleasure. So, guys, today is the end, but tomorrow is a new day. It is. Yeah, I, I, a I world of possibilities. Oh, you don't even know. Yeah, you don't, even, don't know. even know. Don't even know. But Dirk's got to leave day after tomorrow, so tomorrow's our day to get it done. So, one more day. We're going all in. All of our chips are going in tomorrow. Pushing them all in. Them. Yep, pushing them in. So, thanks for watching so much. Please, uh, if you could, just hit that subscribe button. It would help us out. Um, we would love it if you actually got notified about our stuff as soon as it comes out. So, and thank you guys so much for watching. So, hope you guys like Land of the Free 2.0. And I feel like I'm doing an interview on the news right now. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Did you see what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Stick with us, because tomorrow we're going to show you how to put on a new pair of tennis shoes. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, I did see what happened. Yes, you did. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Good night. We are go for launch. Shame, shame, shame.
Okay guys, we got these guys back for actually one more. They said they could actually do it. So actually we may or may not have made them do it. So anyway, <laughs> twist their arm. It just worked. We're just gonna make this quick. Let's just talk about the hunting first. That was the shoulder blade day. That was the face paint. <laughs> that was awkward uh, to watch. <laughs> You're a little, got a little nervous, weird. The nervous giggles like I'm sweating. <laughs> well, Dirk kind of led up to it a bunch. He's just like, well, I, I just want to do something I've never done before. And I well, keep on uh, looking at him like, what is I'm this? I'm telling you, I, when we were <laughs> over the backside and, you know, the whole, that whole adventure of Phelps the first four days, I'm like, dude, let's paint up. And he's like, hmm. He's saving himself. <laughs> he did. He I'm literally saving. said, I'm saving it. I thank I'm you for saving that. It. I, I, didn't, I didn't want to give too much away, but he oh just kept, I'm my. saving it. I've been like, carrying that in my back right. pocket for a while. <laughs> yeah. So. And now, you've all seen it. It was yeah, pretty epic. It's out there for the world to see. It. It's out uh, there. It's out there. What were you, was he a kitty cat or what were you? First started out as a kitty cat, and then I could tell he probably didn't like that. So I thought, well, I'm gonna okay, I'm gonna try to cover myself and make it into like a tree with the little green leaves. It was but, not a but tree. But then it almost looked like Christmas ornament. It was not a tree. <laughs> Happy little leaf over here. Uh, Guys, if your partner, if your hunting partner ever says, "Hey, I want to do something that I've never done before," and it turns out into being face paint, go second every time. <laughs> yeah. Go second. Yeah. Don't go first. Uh, anyway. That and was then, awesome. I mean, I guess the thing about it is you guys literally are laughing, talking, and five minutes after this whole deal goes down, yeah, what? We literally turn around and we're like, all right, let's get serious. Let's get back to hunting. And Dirk throws out a bugle and that bull answers and comes running in. <laughs> yeah, he came running. I think it was the same bull that we kind of messed up too. before that, I do too. that smelled us. And he was hot to trot. He, yes. just, he wanted to fight. So shoulder blades, guys. Let's uh, let's cover this. You can see that arrow hanging out about that far as the bull runs away, and in slow mo, it's just like right when we saw that, it was we've hunted for a long time. We, mm -hmm. we we've all hunted for a long time and and seen the shoulder blade shot, and it is not lethal at all. I hit a bull last year in the shoulder, and it ran off and started bugling. And that's and that was a big wow. Yeah, it's 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 uh, tough. It's a sad deal. The last thing you want to do is injure you know and all that goes into that opportunity and and, and that, he moves if that arrows that that far one way game of inches. Yeah, yeah that far yeah. i but, mean that bull is double long dead and we watched it over and over and over and you'd slow it down and you can see the arrow see the arrow as it goes behind the trees you start to see that elk move down 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 yeah. you know and it I, just pulls that off brings shoulder that shoulder down. rotates it up and and i had a pretty good pretty good shooting lane there um and i, I stopped him West, and i was west over to your yeah, right then? yeah yeah and i and i was just holding him. i was like okay right there that's that's the spot right there and i took a a, a good shot and he lunged i would have never thought a bull an elk, an elk could move that quick he was 20 yards maybe yeah and, and honestly you felt it right off the bat yeah, you didn't see I, it I could, yeah i seen as he ran off i seen the arrow sticking out like it didn't penetrate we've seen it before and it's it's one of those feelings where and we did. We've spent hours and hours and hours looking, I mean, trying to follow tracks and blood because you never know, maybe never some know. weird thing. I don't, I don't know, but I've never seen a direct shoulder blade hit and I've never seen an animal die from it. No. And you found the arrow and it was yeah. broke off. Yeah, there's about an inch and a half of shaft broke off and then the broadhead. So you're probably about three inches. Maybe. Maybe. Just in of, maybe. Of penetration the right there. But, so. Um, so that was a, that was a bum, bum deal. A bad deal. Hey. We got to see an elk. Sometimes you only get one shot, one one opportunity. You had your a year, opportunity, and right? I had that, and I can't complain. Yeah. Unfortunately, it didn't turn out in my favor at the end, but. Yep, it's a game of inches, like you said. And, and then uh, you guys ended up on the face of the moon. Yeah. Well, we went a long way south as compared to where we've all been hunting. Um, we rode the quads down this trail for a lot of miles. Basically, we called one person in. And I think we finally, we heard, we did hear an elk bugle right at the very end of the day after I shot that grouse. And yeah, other than that, it was a pretty uneventful day for us. And we chased a bull the last hour of daylight, zigzagged all over the mountain. And the same, you know, what you were talking earlier about lower elevation. Mm -hmm. You couldn't catch him, you know, as he was moving up the face and 9,000 to 10,000 feet. It was brutal. But. I think something that we need to know, just, um, just to touch on just briefly a second is, all through this Colorado series you guys have watched, you guys have seen multiple bugles, or heard multiple bugles, I'm sorry, but and seen uh, bulls being called in. But And we talk about it all the time. It only takes one, right? Yep. I mean, you, we've called so many elk in, and then there was just that one that just wanted to come 
pretty much running in, we're looking for that elk every single day. And sometimes you find him and sometimes you just play bugle wars all over the mountain, you know? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that was the case that day. Anyway, um, that's the hunting side of things. Let's briefly touch on some, yeah. let's do shout outs very last. Yeah. And then let's just touch on, guys, We the giveaway stuff. We have a ton of stuff to give away and we want you guys to be aware of it. Uh, Nick, you want to start dipping out of the bag there, buddy? Yeah. So how and, this works, we got a dozen day six arrows that be coming. At the end of this Colorado series, uh, we'll do a drawing live on the last day of the Colorado. So if you, shoot at least you uh, click the link in the description below, enter your name and email, you'll be entered. And then you can also share that and people can click through your link and you can gain more entries. And if you've already entered, like in, during Oregon, you're still in it to win it. You so are in it to win it. Just go share that link that you got. Get some more entries. Catalyst kit from First Light. First Light. Pants. And jacket. And jacket. Same jacket I'm wearing. I love this jacket. I'm not a dirty person, but I do wear this jacket probably quite a bit. Every day. Okay. Yeah. Quite a bit. Spot Hawk uh, Signature uh, Series site. Yes. Yeah, Born and Race site. Tommy Hawk. It has our name on it wow. right here. Yeah. Pretty check it out. Oh, yeah. Isn't that cool? That's, yeah. That's pretty There's only 25 of these. So, guys, uh, once the 25 are gone, I don't know what Spot Hog's going to do. But anyway, there's only 25 of them with the Born and Raised name on them. So, got them for sale on the website. Vortex Vipers. These are awesome binoculars. I feel like this is the... Oh, dang. Yeah, Christmas. yeah, that's the work sharp sharp. Work sharp, sharp this, this beast is... I need that in my life. Yes. You do. It's, I know a guy. It's a game changer. Yeah, you know a guy? Well, full price, Maybe but I know a guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll also uh, be doing another bugle auction. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, so this bugle tube, uh, we just auctioned off the one yesterday. And um, guys, that bugle tube, we just are blown away it made fourteen hundred and seventy five dollars for that bugle tube yeah to oh, go to amazing. to go to veterans charity so it amazing amazing thank so you. thank you but we will auction off another bugle tube the exact same thing with everybody's signatures on it dirk even tried to sign it twice i think dirk the bugler one word one word one word, one word. that's nice handwriting it is it and is. uh some crispy boots and working, got some stuff from Hoyt coming that I'm super excited on. Uh, you kids out there, we got something special. So. Yes. Not yeah. sure how we're going to set that up yet yeah, or do that, but, but we'll, uh, uh, definitely it's going to be a kids kids it'll, deal. It'll be awesome. It's pretty amazing. It'll be awesome. Sweet. So crispy. That is. That's it in the Onyx. box. So Onyx and Go Hunt as well. Briefly talk about that. Would you good? Yeah, I mean, uh, so we've got five memberships for Onyx. That's the elite. So any state in the U.S. and uh, we literally. That's how we navigated on our phones, no cell service, worked amazing. Really. So, with you guys, you guys use yeah, Onyx. Absolutely. Yeah. Onyx. So, game changer. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And then uh, mm -hmm. Go Hunt. So, a lot of people ask questions on like, how do you guys find these places? And uh, where do you guys hunt? What unit? And well, we're never going to tell you what unit we're in. Big part of that's out of respect to other people that hunt there, you know. But put in some time in the research, and Go Hunt has a tool, it's called the Insider. And it's a pretty awesome way to narrow down units, public land, uh, bull to cow ratios, all the deal, and you can really kind of fine in. So we're going to give away three insider memberships uh, here at the end of Colorado. If you do sign up, if, if you don't win and you do sign up, you can use promo code BRO, and you'll actually get 50 bucks back in our store. So you can get all the born race gear that you want to use that. That's a limited time offer. So That's check it awesome. Out. Awesome. Anything else? Shout outs, Cody, you got a couple. Yeah. I yep. did not, I don't have any right this um, second. Yeah, I've got one right here. This is to, from Jason Palmer to his brother Chris, who's serving overseas. They don't get to talk a lot to each other, but he knows um, Chris is watching every day, and so he just wanted to say hi. And That's uh, pretty cool. Chris, That's thank awesome. you for your service and appreciate it much. Absolutely. So Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. All right, guys, anything? Say something awesome. <laughs> yeah, Dirk Durism. <laughs> Dirk I got nothing. I got nothing. That's good. I don't remember if you guys gave a shout out to Vicente and Al yet. Yeah. Did yeah, you? We did. Yeah. yeah. But I was a part of that, and he saved a lot of hiking for me. <laughs> uh, both of you guys. That was yeah. awesome. Yeah. Thank you again. So, yep. yeah. Huge. I mean, and that, awesome. I guess, just goes to the whole brotherhood and sisterhood, everything in the community of bow hunting. Two guys that never met us before. I'm and shocked. You know, yeah. Here, Here's my brand it. new razor. Take yeah. It. yeah. Go tear it apart. Go, go. go. Yeah. We're all in this together. 100%. Yeah. We are yeah. too, guys. If there's someone out there and you run into, take the time sometimes to see what they're about and, and, and to talk with people. And that's what this whole outdoors, as far as our hunting, has taught us a lot from the 
from the years that we've done it is it's the people that you're with and the people that you're mm-hmm. around that make the hunt more than the just shooting an animal. So. Yeah, hundred yep. percent. Yeah. So, thanks, guys. Uh, we're done with this one. Yeah, Thank you one guys just so one much. quick thing. I was going through analytics and it looks like fifty percent of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. So, Whoa. if you are not subscribed to this channel, it would absolutely be a huge favor if you just hit that subscribe button and uh, join the Bro Nation here and. Yeah, we'd really appreciate it. So with that, let's go subscribe. Yep. All right. Let's do it. See.